are you doing here? I want to come home, Nathan. Yeah, this is really bad timing. Listen, uh, there's, there's no more apartment, and I put all your stuff in storage. So you can spend the night in the guest room if you want. Nathan, there wasn't a moment when I was away that my heart wasn't with you in Tree Hill. That's great. But I'm still leaving tomorrow. And unlike you, I'm taking my heart with me. There was never a day on that tour when I didn't think you were the best part of my life. You can't just say that, Haley. Not after months of silence. That's why? It's the truth. Really? Yeah. What about the day you signed the annulment papers? The papers that you initiated? Well, yeah, after I drove a thousand miles to see you and you didn't even call me after I left. I... Must have been a hell of an encore. Nathan, you just walked away. Well, Pete's running away. I did call. You called our answering machine, Haley. Because I knew that you were gonna hang up on me anyway, so I had to leave a message. Well, I didn't even play it. I deleted you. Nathan, please, I just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, Haley, I can't do this. I'm sorry. It's, you need to go, all right? Please. I still do love you. I always will. Oh, by the way, if this basketball thing doesn't work out, you may have a future as a painter. I Just really do it. I don't want to sing. Please, I don't want to let me back. Hey, you got a problem? <laughs> Scott and wife Haley face to face. Today, we're gonna allow talking. You really, uh, knock out Sue Garvey's front tooth? What? What? Where did you hear that? It's all over school. Great. Add bully to my resume now. <laughs> I love you. I know that we can work this out, and a year from now, things will be good for us again. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess we'll just have to see. Come on. We're late for class. Costume. You like it? Not really. I mean, it's just not really you. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm <laughs> just friendly. That's cool. Hey, by the way, I'm kind of glad I get to see more of you, though. Is that okay with you? And not that I need your permission or anything. I just. You don't. But next time you want to talk, don't pretend to run into me. Just talk to me. I don't want to play games. Uh -huh. I mean, like, uh, other than challenging me to work with Chris again. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's fair. <laughs> so how's it going anyway? Uh, coming along, I guess. Don't sleep on your music, Hales. It's a big part of who you are. Yeah. Hi. Wow, you look so overdressed. Great night, remember that? Watching the meteor shower together. You look nice tonight, Haley. Thanks. 
I just wish we could have spent some more time together without all this. Chris and Brooke. I mean, the beach, this balcony. I haven't forgotten about our past, Haley. I know where we got married. I know this is where we made love in the rain. I still feel our past just like you do. I just thought it might be nice to hang out in the present for a night. I just wanted you to know that I don't blame you for any of this. <laughs> you didn't want to get married. Wait a second. Of course I did. I was just scared. Yeah, and I promised you everything would be okay. I shouldn't have. I think about it a lot, you know? Now, this isn't the life you would have had if I hadn't come along. It's not the life you should have had. It's more. No, it's not. You'd still have your music. You'd be on tour. You'd probably be a big star by now. Oh, come on, you're... no chance that um you'd want to go to the last place I had planned for us, is there? Well, let's see. Let's either take my chances with you or hang out with Chris Keller. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm writing my own prediction for this year. Yeah. The roots are still there. It just takes time. Don't say I never gave you anything. What do you think? I think it's still weird that you're a cheerleader. <laughs> Purple flowers, huh? Hmm. It was great, Haley. <laughs> so do you. Yeah, Whitey's new rules. Tie his own game day, run until you puke. Hmm, won't that ruin the tie? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take off. I know you have to focus on the game, but this was just, uh, mandatory. You're gonna do great tonight. We'll see. Hey, you did a good job tonight. What game were you watching? <laughs> the game where you had the entire team guarding you and you still made, like, 30 points. 16 hails. The whole team only had 39. Well, it's almost half. Plus, it gave me more because your shots were really hard. That should totally be a rule. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Well, it should. Thank you. Did you wait out here for me? Yeah. I, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Are you? Call me later if you want to talk or... It's really great. I just wanted you to know that. Oh, okay. You know, for most of my life, I would have gone through all this alone. But then I met you, and I finally found someone I could depend on when life got like this. So I guess I called you because I wanted to know if that was still there. Nathan, you can always call me. Always and forever. <laughs> I love you for lying to me. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Haley. Yeah. Stay with me tonight. Hey. Sorry, I lost. You looked good, though. Yeah, thanks. 
Uh, listen, I wanted to know if maybe you wanted to come over and I could cook dinner and maybe breakfast. <laughs> I'd love to. Mm, too much mac, not enough cheese. Mm. Oh, yeah, you just grazed it. Let me get you a band-aid. Okay, I'm in the bathroom. Kiss first. Mm. Thank you. It took you so long. I, uh, I couldn't find it. Haley! Your future as a basketball player is totally secure. Your future as my husband, not so much. I don't know what hurts worse, Nathan, but you think I was trying to trick you into having a baby with me, or that having one with me is like your worst nightmare? It's not like that. I, I'm just not ready for Of course not, neither am I. I would like to think that if something happens. Nathan, I said some things the other night. I said some things too. I'm sorry. Me too. I guess we can add this to the list of things we should have talked about. We can talk about it now. Why? Well, you don't think he was impressed with my uh, bench sitting skills? <laughs> Haley, I'm sorry. I wish I had an answer for all this school stuff. It's just. If I tell you not to go to Stanford, I'm telling you not to follow your dreams. Again, if I tell you to go, I'm saying I don't want to be with you. So what do you want me to say? Say you love me? Of course I love you. Scott! Haley, what are you doing here? Aren't the roads all closed? It's like martial law or something. I know, I know, but I had to talk to you. I decided to go to Duke. Duke's a really great school, and I think I could be really happy there, especially if I was with you. Well, you can't go to Duke, Hales. And I don't want you to. You don't want me to, right. Right, what was I thinking? Because you told me that you loved me after the basketball game, and silly me, I just thought that feeling would last for longer than, I don't know, one night. But, and again, I forgot. You're the guy who loves to rip the rug out from underneath me just when I feel like we're getting some sort of stable ground. Haley. And then you freak out after we have sex for the first time in God knows how long. And by the way, I know exactly how long it was. And frankly, I'm still pissed off at you about that whole birth control thing. What? Haley, you can't go to Duke. Because I'm going to Stanford. All right, we got Dippin' Dots, no G. Snack Pack Puddin', no G. And my personal favorite, Cap'n Crunch, no T. <laughs> Basically, food's missing consonants. <laughs> yeah, I used to love snarfing down Cap'n Crunch, watching Saturday morning cartoons when I was a kid. Was it like a year ago? <laughs> hmm? Just you, me, and the darkness, Hales. Mm. Sounds kind of nice. What? Yes, I had a second bowl. I was hungry. <laughs> oh, it's not that. I was just remembering. Remembering what? Your hair. You wore it that way the first day you tutored me. You remember how I wore my hair the first day I tutored you? Of course. What else do you remember? I remember the ugly ass poncho that you oh wore. Oh my god, yes! You've made your feelings for that particular item clothing very clear. Come on. <laughs> Tell me really. Well, um. I remember more than you think. I really like that you're telling me all these stories about how much you remember. <laughs> it's kind of scary, though. Now I have to be, like, super cute 24-7. I have to be embedded in your memory for all of eternity. <laughs> but... I'll show you something. It's my car. Nathan, it's crazy out there! But I'm still proud of you. Every day. Wait, wait. It's all getting ruined. No, you don't need all that stuff. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> Tour 
was a really big part of your life. <laughs> Thank you. Surprise. I switched rooms with Lucas. I don't have to sleep on the floor, do I? I... Attractive. Room service? Actually, let's have a proper sit down breakfast somewhere. Family style. Family style sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our life is a series of images. They pass us by like towns on the highway. But sometimes. Vice. Never get married. In the end, you'll only be miserable. Um, about the time capsule. Ah, uh, you look beautiful. <laughs> I got you these. Good luck. You know, we should find out what those flowers are called and order some seeds or something. <laughs> At the rate I've been screwing up, there's not going to be any left to pick. Come here. <sighs> so proud of you, and I love you. It'll be great out there, okay? I got nothing to worry about. What? You don't have any pregame rituals? No. What are you worried about? I mean, you got the home court advantage. You played in front of this many people before. I know. I'm, I'm not worried about playing in front of hundreds of people. That I can do in my sleep. I'm scared of playing in front of one in particular. Oh. This is my first time playing out since the tour and. My first time playing since you and I have been us again. And I saw your time capsule and I just got scared. Yeah. Don't be afraid to love it, Haley. All right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty game ritual. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> How awesome was my girl? Hey! Oh, thanks. <laughs> The greatest rewards come from doing the things that scare you the most. If you ever... Somebody has a gun inside and they're shooting. Haley! What? Haley's in the tutor center. All students on the bus! Go play it now! Let's move! Come on! Nathan, get your ass on that bus! Oh, my head. Haley's inside! We're getting out of here, okay? All of us, let's go. Don't. Yeah, I'm scared. You ever broken up with someone in the time it takes? Question. You shouldn't have come back for me. I love you for doing it, but I wish you were safe. I don't want to be safe without you. So uncertain. God, I love you. I'll never want to come that close to losing you again. You should be safe, okay? I told you I'm not going anywhere. I love you, Haley James, and that's all I need to know. And that doesn't mean it's not gonna be hard. It doesn't mean it's not gonna be confusing, but whatever it is. We'll face it together. You are quite charming, you know that. You haven't even seen my egg yet. Oh, Lord help me if that's true. <laughs> mm. You'd be so in love with somebody, your heart aches. Rain. <laughs> Break my arms around. It is not possible. 
Why are you wearing those mittens? It's like a million degrees in here. Um, my hands are just cold. You mean this ring? <sighs> yeah. Where did you find that? I kind of stole it. Twice. Haley. What are you doing? Over the past year, I've learned so much about life and love. And even if I could, I wouldn't take back all the bad stuff that's happened between us. Because it brought us here, this moment, this river. Marry me, Haley. Marry me again in front of all our friends and our family. Always, always and forever. <laughs> 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 oh, by the way, I met this smoking hot girl. Besides, I'll do anything I have to to marry you again. Or that I can't stand it when we're apart. Or that every time I look at her, I know that I'm going to be with her for the rest of my life. 46 points? That's like... Really good. <laughs> That's not bad. Well, you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you for being such an amazing guy. Mm -hmm. And thank you for having the right answer with that priest the other day. God, for a minute there, I thought we weren't going to get our big wedding. What if we don't have sex until we get married again? Do you still love me? What, are you kidding? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, okay. But does that mean that I can't stop kissing like this? Mm. Yeah, like this? Mm. Okay, maybe we'll just start on the no sex thing tomorrow night. You know, that's fine. You sure you don't want to sleep with me to the ceremony? I know I look pretty sexy right now. I think you're out of your league. You all right? I totally got you, didn't I? No. I told you I was sexy, Haley. Don't lie. Okay, maybe. Besides, I'm gonna help you. Yeah, you always help me. <laughs> Damn it, you need to put a shirt on. Too sexy. God. You ever heard the expression? <laughs> Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's gonna look beautiful. Thank you. Except maybe in this thing. Oh, shut up! Whoa! Anyone I know? Mostly me. I talked to Brooke today. Oh, boy. That's my girl. <laughs> this is not how it happens. Yes, yes, it is. No, 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 no. <laughs> See you later, man. Let's lay here. Would you lie with me? Haley. My love will never waver. And this I vow to you. Today and always, forever. I do. <laughs> Thank you. And now, before the eyes of God, I once again pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
Ela vive bien. Ella What song did you pick anyway? You need a friend. Oh, I was oh, hoping it would be this one. I had a little help. Mm -hmm. Don't let this end before I see you. So, I thought I would borrow a few words. <laughs> Sweet! I'm driving! No way. Oh. Yeah. Those say I never gave you anything. California. Bailey, call 911. Nathan, don't! We're gonna go! I love you. Through the park.